Good afternoon Steve, this is your video for Unit 307 Building 5 in Siesta Dunes. Um, we've just panned past the view that you get from the entrance walkway and I will take you into the unit now and we'll do a proper walkthrough. Um, you've got a double screen door which looks to be in fairly good condition and then the front door looks like it's had some repair work at some point around the eye hole and you've got the no smoking sign there. So we'll pop in and see what it's like inside. Right, Steve, we're inside the unit now. Um, the door has got sort of a bit of damage, uh, rust down the lower edge, um, but otherwise, you know, it's a door. You've got a storage cupboard here, which has got your hot water tank in, and there's plenty of room for bits and pieces. It's also got your aircon unit in as well. Um, there's another cupboard here that is locked and that's usually where owners leave their possessions and leave a cupboard locked so that's quite good you've got that. Right into the kitchen um, as you can see if we look at the flooring um, nice diagonal tile flooring throughout this section. Um, they seem to have done quite a nice job with the kitchen uh, when they've refitted it. Um, dishwasher has got a bit of lime scaling. Right, I always look underneath the cabinets because this is where you can see if they've had any um, spills or leaks. If I just have a look around here. That all looks okay under there. And this is good, they've cleaned this unit today, so you start to get an idea of how they clean and keep the units. Um, nice double sink with better taps, um, corner with turntable. It looks as if there's quite a nice lot of bits and pieces in here. Um, the china looks better. I know that's a small thing, but if you're renting out, you've got to go and buy all new cutlery in china. That is an added expense. Uh, the glass mosaic tiles are very popular and they look to have been kept very nicely. Oven seems fine. Uh, you've got another three drawer unit here. These have all got the soft closers on, so they're better cabinets that sometimes you get in these units. Again, okay, lots of glassware and ice maker in the fridge, and that's plenty big enough. Um, there doesn't appear to be a water um, attachment to that. And then I would say this would have originally been um, a pantry, and they've redone it, which is really nice. That gives you plenty of storage room. Okay, on to the living area. This will appeal to your renters, a really nice breakfast bar, um, and they've opened the kitchen up a bit so you get more light back into it. Moving on, we have the dining table, which has got seating for four. Um, you may have some people say, oh, can we get six in the unit? I know we do with one of our units. Um, and I would suggest that you stand firm on just maybe having four people because six in here would be a squeeze. The tile continues throughout this section. There are mirrors all across one of the walls which are there to reflect the light. Uh, a nice seating area. Again, the furnishings look nicer than I'm used to in some of these turnkey furnished properties. Um, some of them have uh, very much older furniture but this looks nice it's all matching and somebody's obviously thought about it and thought about how they're going to lay this out uh, just behind here we have the TV cabinet with a decent sized screen and again that's that's a nice bit of furniture right they've enclosed they've opened up rather the um, balcony or lanai here um, and this makes a really nice area. One of the reasons that people do that 
here is because they get their main renters in January, February, March, as you know. And by enclosing this lanai and having the sliding doors, people can use it in an evening. The lanai would be a little bit chilly on its own uh, in the winter months, but this way you can use it during the winter months and have it open so you can get the sound of the ocean during the summer months. So I think that's a nice compromise and I should think that's quite a big selling unit for renters in this area because you can sit up here, have your cocktail or your meal and you've got the view of the beach out there. I just want to pan around from the opposite side so you can see what view you get from your balcony. Um, so you've got the other units around here, you've got the uh, pool in the centre there and then if you come round you do have a view of the beach. It is slightly obstructed by the wall to the side but this is what I would call a, a good view. Some of them are very much peekaboo, you need to lean out halfway across your balcony to have any view at all but this is a good one and it gives you an idea how they keep the communal areas as well. Right, we're coming into the master suite now, which as you can see is just off of the main living area. Uh, it does have you know, a reasonable door so that you do get a bit of privacy if you come to bed early. Uh, if you come in to here, again, the tiling continues throughout. Uh, double sinks with replacement top. And again, we don't appear to have any leaks there and a nicely fitted unit. Coming into the main bathroom, uh, the tile um, in the shower looks good, looks like it's all been redone, I'll just move that way so you can get a shot of it. There we go, and with the little seating area, people do like that now, especially the older renters. And coming round, we have a nice size walk-in closet. As you can see, they use it partly for towels and storage, but this would be plenty big enough um, for the sort of renters you're looking at, and also uh, for uh, staying here longer term yourself. Most of what you need down here really is a t-shirt, short and flip-flops and you are done. Right, coming round to the main bedroom area. The flooring changed from tiling to carpet. And as you can see, again, they, they seem to have uh, bought some quite nice furniture, uh, heavier than you usually expect um, in this area. And the view from this Bedroom. Again, great view of the beach. Now this is what's going to sell to your renters. Um, when you come to have the photos taken and put it up, this view is what's going to bring your higher paying renters in, especially in season. Um, and I have to say I wish I was out on the beach now. It does look gorgeous today. You've also got um, a door here um, from your main bedroom straight out onto the balcony. So you can have that open and come in and out as you wish. There's a nice seating area in this room. Um, again, nicely thought out, very nicely staged. Um, and I can see why, why they're getting the level of rentals they are. The second bedroom is towards the front of the unit, just by the kitchen, and um, as a quite a nice layout in that you've got the bathroom for it isn't actually off this bedroom. If you have guests, they can come in and use this bathroom without having to go through the bedroom. If you come in again, uh, newer cabinetry here. And that looks fine. And then you're round to a second shower. Again, newer tiling. And it's been remodeled quite nicely. 
One thing I would say is that some families like to have somewhere which has got a bathtub as well as a shower because of bringing the kids in from the beach and dunking them in the bath and then putting them to bed. It's sometimes easier than using a shower, but if you get two lots of adults using this uh, as a rental, they will definitely prefer to have the two walk-in showers, especially our older snowbirds. They don't like climbing in the tub. So there's pros and cons in both. Right into the second bedroom. This one looks out onto the car parking lot, effectively. Um, it doesn't have a fantastic view, but you kind of expect that with these units. You can see right over, you've got some nice palm trees, etc. But um, it's not as good a view as, obviously, the beach. Reasonably sized room. Um, it's got a good sized bed in it white wicker furniture and you've got another very good size walk-in closet and that has got a built-in unit to house some of the linens. The one thing I might say about this bedroom is if you've got a couple with children wanting to rent it you've got two double beds I would think that you might consider putting two single beds in this room so that it's easier for a couple with children. However, again, there are pros and cons. If you get two couples renting it, they're both going to want the double bed. So that would be up to yourself to work out where you feel that would be best done. Now we've seen the inside of this unit, we'll go out and have a look at some of the communal areas.